Before I get to my main point, please, 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 please stop looking at the news. If something is not going to draw you closer to God, it is going to draw you away from God. That should be no surprise. Just because you see people acting ignorantly does not mean that you have to act in that way as well. Stay away from people like that. When you watch the news, why don't the news speak about good things? Why does the news only focus on the bad things? What you feed yourself, that is how you are going to become. So if you feed yourself on ignorant stuff, you are going to be ignorant as well. I don't watch the news. Perhaps when I check my email, they may have an article up there, but I don't care about the news. What you should be doing is studying your Bible, listening to teachings about God, listen to teachers, prophets, that teach about God, that is telling you what is going to happen. Why do you have to listen to a sinful person on the news for the news when there are prophets prophesying, there are teachers telling you what God expects of us? No, many people just want to feed in to what the news channel is saying. That is foolish. I pray that this makes sense. What you feed yourself, that is what you are going to become. Let's go to Psalm chapter 37, verses 38 through 40. This should really make sense here. But the transgressors shall be destroyed together. The end of the wicked shall be cut off. So what is a transgressor? Let's look it up. To violate a law, command, moral code, etc. Offend, sin. So a person who is not following God's rules and regulations, a sinner. But the transgressors, sinners, shall be destroyed together. Amen. The end of the wicked shall be cut off. What does it mean by cut off? Killed dying, going to hell, cut off, ending. 39, but the salvation of the righteous, people who are following God's rules and regulations, is of the Lord. So what does salvation mean? Let's look it up. Preservation or deliverance from harm, ruin, or loss. So God is going to save you, pretty much. But the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord. He is their strength in the time of trouble. So God is here for the righteous. He is here to help people who are following his rules and regulations. So this is a great incentive to serve God. But Kevin, serving God is so boring. I guess you want to be cut off, right? <laughs> Let me highlight this. You just want to be cut off.
but the transgressors shall be destroyed. I don't care. Let's say that living for God is really boring, which it is not. But let's say that it is the most boring thing in the whole world. I'd rather live a boring life living for God than to sin and have fun than be sent to hell. Let me have a boring life. <laughs> My Lord. 40. And the Lord shall help them and deliver them. This is speaking about the righteous. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. So these are good things for the righteous. God is going to save you. He is going to be there when trouble comes your way. But for the transgressor, their future, <laughs> they are going to be destroyed. You are going to hell. I had this person comment to me and sometimes I really receive some crazy comments. But this person was saying that they don't care if they go to hell because they say heaven is you are only going to be praying there and serving God or something like that. So that is very boring. So I'd rather be in hell. I'm like, what? Obviously, this person does not read his Bible. <laughs> Who says that all we are going to be doing in the heaven is praying? Who says that? <laughs> all day long, every second, we are going to be praying in the heaven. Who says that? That is not true. Let's say that is true. I'd rather be praying every second than to be sent to hell and be tormented every second. Praying every second does not seem so bad when you think of being tormented every second. When people say that they don't care about going to hell, what you need to do is pray for that person because they don't know what they are speaking of. Who wants to get tormented every second? When a person receives a headache, that is too much for many people right there. So to say that you are ready for hell, you have no idea what you are saying. You believe that demons and Satan are your friends, that they are going to give you authority in hell or something like that. No, they won't. I pray that this makes sense. God bless.